passenger jets, fighter jets, and rockets. Companies from all over the world travel to Paris to show off the latest and greatest in aviation tech, drawing hundreds of thousands of spectators. Though not all eyes are on the businesses. U.S. military personnel stationed across Europe and the United States stole the show with their talent and professionalism. So right now I have a team of 114 uh, DOD personnel, that's soldiers, sailors, and airmen. They're all working off a UCOM task order to support the Secretary of Defense when he put out the guidance that these are the trade shows we're going to support this year. And so UCOM tasked you safety to be lead on this one. Army Europe, Navy uh, Europe, USAFE, ACC, Air National Guard, and Air Force Reserve all chipped in to help bring uh, soldiers, sailors, and airmen here. The Airbus and air crews drive the success of the U.S. military personnel at the Paris Air Show, answering questions, giving tours, and demonstrating the United States' commitment to the security of Europe. This is a great opportunity to display uh, aerospace industry. For our part, we're displaying U.S. military air power. We get to engage with the public, talk about what we do from the Army, Navy, and the Air Force. We are able to get platforms from all three of those services. And uh, there's a large part of the DOD that supports uh, military projection of air power here in Europe and forward to other parts of the world. Without the maintenance and oversight of the air crews and air boss, the Paris Air Show would never take off. From Paris, France, I'm Airman First Class Cannon Muniz.